30 seconds more left, my rest time. Right now we're doing super sets, we're doing incline push-ups, 20. Um, as many as you can, uh, pull-ups, three sets. Then you got single leg, single leg, uh, bicep curl, and then bicep pull down. We're about to get into the last set. Before we end the video, just got here in Miami. I'm about to get right, man. Can't do no lower body right now due to certain circumstances, but I'll be back. I got one last set. Is everything too. Form. It's not about how much you lift. It's about the correct form. Your shoulders back and everything aligned. Head straight. Head. We did um, regular push-ups, then we superseted that with uh, single-legged shoulder press, making sure you're engaging your core, squeezing the opposite glute that you're balancing on. And then um, the last workout was inverted rows. And then uh, for the, the next set, we did incline push-ups. We did 20 of those. Then we did um, maxing out on pull-ups. And then we superseted that with single-legged bicep curls and then try to pull down. And we out, man. We just touched on Miami. It's about to be a movie. That's the most 
rip apart probably in my body. <sighs> Just gotta keep moving this fat. Uh, I got a little bit here. <sighs> all right, all right. We got right now, Kira Vita. What'd you get? Kale, chicken, cedar, salad, wrap, spinach. What do I do? Dip it in that? I think I dip it in that, right? I put it with sauce in this first? It's ranch. Right. Hmm. Alan? We're good. Not a lie. Yeah. Where I ain't this shit. This stuff I'm in. <laughs> this guy. So this this might be a spot when we visit the trip. For sure. At least once more. At least once. Because you gotta kind of taste more stuff too. We gotta go to that taco truck. That's for sure. I gotta really show you that taco truck. Valid. Hmm. You gotta trust you trust with the food spots too. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> What I look at is the ingredients. Like certain stuff like this has added stuff in it. Citric acid, all that. That's stuff I usually look for when I'm getting like fruits or just food, like foods in general, you know? But um, yeah, see, as you see, mandarin, oranges, spinach, apple, grapes, banana, that's what you're looking for. They don't have the package I usually get. But we need this for the cream water. Honey. Black cheese, honey. Um, I got the protein powder at the curb. Um, I got the protein powder at the curb. Um, what else I put? Yogurt. I make sure I look at the ingredients for that as well. Um, I'm trying to put just as much. Uh, I'm trying to put as much um, like authentic like foods inside my smoothies in my body as possible. Oh, here it is. might be too much. But look, as you can see, look, wild, blue, wild blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Oh, this one. Which one you want, Ryan? Which one you want? I'm gonna get a smoothie. Oh, this man. one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Are good too, right here. Like natural, said, natural sugar. Yeah, for sure. For the most part, what I'm starting to learn, all the good foods are on the outside of the, on the outside of the um, store. That's a, that's a good, that's a good. Everything point. else in between is all processed. If you think about it, the eggs, the meats. Fruits, they're all on the outside. I was watching a podcast, that's where I got it. And, um, even when I look for yogurt, like this is the yogurt I get. The simple ingredients, nothing crazy, no all natural, no sativa, artificial sweeteners, no added natural. This is what I usually get. That's but I'm at the house, yeah, yeah for 18 grams. This is probably the best one. This one I use. Make it look, me a little bit, a little bit decent. Yeah. Alright, so right now I got right now I'm about to do a um ad workout. Um pretty much it's like a circuit. So so I'll do high plank for one minute and it's all for three sets. So I'll do high plank for one minute. Then I'll go straight into the next exercise, side plank. 30 seconds each side. And then um I'll do flutter kicks, 
There's five workouts. Flutter kicks. I'll do 20 of them. And then I'll go into, uh, uh, what is it called? Leg raises. Uh, crunches. Uh, no, no, hell no. Crunches. Stay away from crunches, bro. No, no crunches, no crunches. Leg raises, I'll do 15. So one, two, three, four. And then I'll do, damn, I got six workouts. Hollow holes. Shout out to Ben Bruno for this one. This is OD hard, or really hard. I'll do hollow holds, I'll do 15 of those. And then the last one will be uh, the John Morant. I learned it from, I seen his, um, I seen one of his uh, videos on YouTube. It's actually pretty tough too, it's another one. I'll just say holds, I don't know what it's called, but I know how to do it, I'll show you guys. Holds, uh, 45 seconds. And this is all for three sets. And then you rest, so you go hit boom, 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 and then rest for a good like minute. So we got this for one minute, and then usually on the second, third set, I'll switch it, I'll alternate it, so I'll go 30 seconds high plank, then 30 seconds low plank. And right after this, we go straight into side planks. A lot of people get confused with ab workouts. You wanna strengthen them as much as possible. It's not about just burning them out. Cause the stronger they are, the better. And that's when they pop more. It's usually like, in order, if, you, if, if you're if you someone that's looking to get abs, it's more of losing body fat. So that has nothing to do really with working out. You know, just getting them strong will make them pop. And the cleaner you eat, the less body fat you have, they'll show more. Put it right here so I can see you. <clears throat> I do this every day too, except Sunday. Side planks, activating him the obliques right here. Thirty seconds each side. Right, be careful. Then switch over. Ugh. Now we got flutter kicks for the lower abs. You wanna make sure your back doesn't arch. You wanna keep it grounded to the floor. So you're really activating your core. So 20 low. Now we got leg raises. Again, you want to make sure your back isn't arching like this. You want to have it glued to the floor. Fifteen of these. It's another one I see in the lower abs. to the bedroom. So now for this exercise, again, you wanna make sure your back isn't arched and it's grounded to the floor. You can keep your legs straight up and you just go in here. Don't let your back arch. This is the hardest one. You can add weight to make it harder. Damn, that's a good. And the 
This one I took from John Morantz. One of his episodes on YouTube. Just here. Usually I have weights, but I don't have nothing with me. And just here. It's more like stability. And then I usually I either have a weight or like a, a weighted ball and I have someone tapping it back and forth. It, it also works at hip flexors. 45 seconds. set two, wait a minute, minute 30, and then go back into it, repeat. 